We're only about halfway through October, but ARK Invest, they've been busy buying up stocks, spending millions of dollars on many different positions, and so far it's been doing pretty well for them. Now there are gonna be some stocks on this list that you have heard of, but some of them you've probably never heard of before. So it's gonna be an exciting video and it may give you some ideas of some stocks to further research into. So anyways, let's get rolling. Let's look at some stocks that Kathy Wood and ARK Invest have been buying here so far in October 2020. And as always guys, smash that like button down below till either you're blue in the face or the button turns blue, whichever comes first. So Slack stock is the first one on here that I wanted to cover. And yes, in a recent video, I touched on this and asked you guys if you wanted to see a dedicated stock analysis video on Slack. You had to get the video to a thousand likes and while well, you guys demolished that. So a dedicated video on Slack is coming, I promise. Now in October, ARK has so far bought over $34 million in the stock, but they have been buying this heavily throughout September as well. And it's clear that they see value in this business. This year has been kind of a roller coaster ride for Slack, lots of ups and downs, but ultimately the company is benefiting from the current work from home situation. And it looks like ARK is making big bets that this trend will continue for many more months and years to come. So this is probably one you already know that ARK was buying, but like I said, a dedicated video on Slack is coming. My thoughts, analysis, all that kind of stuff, whether it's a buy. I'm gonna cover that in the video coming up. So guys, make sure you turn on that bell notification so you know exactly when that video is released. Opendoor, or the SPAC IPOB, is currently the next one on the list that we recently covered as well. And it was surprising at first to see ARK buying a SPAC, but after looking into the business, I think they see this as the next Zillow or possibly even bigger than Zillow. ARK has deployed over $35 million in the stock in the last two weeks, clearly making big bets on Chamath and his team at Social Capital with this SPAC. Open Door, which is what IPOB is trying to merge with, is a platform that allows you and I to buy or sell a house seamlessly using our phones. They also offer other services related to real estate and they compete with companies like Redfin and Zillow. Now the stock, since it's a SPAC, was around that $10 level for most of 2020, but that last month and a half performance has been a wild ride here where the stock has more than doubled in value and those that made a bet on the SPAC before they even found out about the candidate have been rewarded. Now this is another video that I asked you guys to hit a thousand likes for if you wanted to see a dedicated video on Open Door and well you guys did that as well. So don't worry, I'm gonna keep my end of the deal. Those two videos, Open Door, Slack, coming very, very soon, so stay tuned. Now, the next three stocks we're gonna cover are ones you've probably never heard of before. Some are small, some are large, let's get into it. So Takeda Pharmaceutical is actually a Japanese company that claims to be a patient-focused, values-based, R&D-driven, global pharmaceutical company. They also say that they committed to bringing a better health and a brighter future to people worldwide. Now, ARK likes disruptive companies. That's kind of their focus here. That's what they're known for. And perhaps they feel that Takeda is one of these businesses. Now, Takeda stock not really had a good year so far. It's actually down year to date and has been fairly flat in recent months as well. ARK, however, doesn't seem to be holding back. They've deployed over $9 million in October into this stock, and maybe this means that they believe this company is very undervalued at current prices. It was surprising to me to see ARK take a stance on an international business like this. You know, not a US-based company, but hey, if there's money to be made, ARK is gonna take advantage of it. Investors should take advantage of it. And clearly, ARK believes that there's some good opportunity here. Intercontinental Exchange, or ICE, is our fourth stock on this list, and this is a sizable, almost $60 billion giant company. Now this company you may not have heard of because they're kind of a behind the scenes business because they operate global exchanges like the New York Stock Exchange, for example. So, I mean, yes, they are a pretty important business and they are important to the markets, which is why I think this is a pretty interesting stock to look into here. The stock took a big dip with the market in March, but has since roared back new highs recently and is currently up nearly 11% on the year, which, hey, not too shabby. 
Arc has deployed around $27.5 million into this company, which I see as a safe, stable, reliable business with fairly low risk of capital loss over the long term. Now, I don't really know what Arc sees here from an innovation or disruptive perspective, but it may be worth taking a look into further to see if there's something that ICE is doing that will have a positive impact on the world's exchanges in the future. It's interesting because most of the companies that ARK invests in are, you know, highly disruptive, uh, innovative companies that are losing a lot of money, but they have a lot of high growth. But ICE, this seems like a very stable, consistent company, you know, rises a little bit every single year, fairly predictable, blue chip ish, I guess, $60 billion market cap is, is pretty respectable. So it's kind of out of character for ARK to invest in a company like this. So there's clearly something that they see that you and I, the general public, is not seeing yet. So number five is a communications company, as their name implies, and they claim to be the world's only truly global mobile satellite communications company. They are a fairly small business at under a $4 billion market cap, so there's lots of room to grow here. And by their performance in 2020, you can see that they are a very volatile name, going from around the mid-30s to around the mid-teens during the crash. So if one was to invest in the stock today, there definitely needs to be a sense of risk tolerance that comes along with this, because I expect more volatility ahead. ARK has so far spent around $4.6 million on this company, but they have made four different buy orders, which tells me that they're fairly bullish and want to keep averaging into this company over time as there's weakness in the stock or there's sell-offs in the stock. I don't really have too much perspective to add into this company. Haven't really looked into it too much, to be honest with you guys. However, ARK I mean, they see something here. Maybe it's not a, a big bet for them because they're only putting in around 4.6 million so far. But who knows if the prices keep going down, they may deploy much more in coming weeks. I'll be keeping a close eye on that. And if you guys are interested, you should too. So that kind of wraps up these five stocks. But hold on. There is earnings season coming up in the next week or so. I, I believe banks are actually reporting this week and tech starts reporting either the week after or the week after that. So the earnings are around the corner essentially. And I believe there will be some good buying opportunities as with every earnings season. So it'll be very interesting to follow ARK here and to see what purchases they make on a daily basis, what companies they're buying. You know, are they gonna buy more Tesla? Are they gonna buy more Square? Are they gonna buy more of these five businesses in here? It'll be very interesting to see what happens in the next few weeks. Now, if this video does well, I will make this kind of an ongoing series on the channel. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do that. But either way, it was fun making this video. Hope you enjoyed it hope you got some value out of it and if you did smash that like button down below again to show your appreciation thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to invest positively and i'll see you in the next one peace